Members of the Rastafarian community proudly wear dreadlocks. The number of Rastafarians in Sudan is however unknown. The whiff of freedom after the fall of Omar al-Bashir enabled many Rastas to thrive. However, it did not last as post-Bashir transition to civilian rule was appended last year when Army Chief Abdel Fattah al-Burhan led a military coup. The community doesn't want to go back to largely living underground. They have vowed to fight on. Here's a report from Katu. Rastafarianism considers former Ethiopian emperor Haile Selassie to be its messiah. In the majority Muslim nation, unlike in Jamaica, where most Rastafarians are found, wearing dreads doesn't have religious overtones. Environments like an art exhibition in Khartoum celebrate reggae culture. Men and women Rastafarians would face persecution under public order laws restricting how people dress or behave in public. During Omar al-Bashir's tenure, the killings of several Sudanese Rastafarians in mass anti-coup demonstrations since General al-Burhan's takeover have given rise to a popular protest slogan, The Rasta Never Dies. At least 121 people have been killed in the crackdown on protests since the October 2021 coup, according to the medics group. During the protests, I knew that if I got arrested, the security forces will shave my head. It was my motivation to keep running. It was very bad. And I feel this behavior from the authorities is back. Many in the community are finding solace in such settings. Art has always played a pivotal role in societies who often feel forsaken or neglected. The feelings of isolation make most turns to expressions in form of drawings, paintings, music, acting and activism. Being a woman, 35-year-old filmmaker Afra Saad said she has faced greater scrutiny than men Rastafarians since she embraced the tradition during the height of the anti-Bashir demonstrations. The prevalent stereotype links with dreadlocks, with drug use and unbecoming behavior. So there are some restrictions. For them, it is more acceptable to have an improper hairstyle than having my hair in dreadlocks. The stereotype that Saad refers to is almost shared across the continent, especially in majority Christian countries who have a strict diktat on children or teenagers' outlook. This case in Sudan highlights the discrimination Rastafarians face in Africa, where they are a small but visible minority. For now, wearing dreadlocks, listening to reggae music or having a Rasta-like lifestyle is an act of defiance in Sudan. Bureau Report, World of Africa.